What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vladimir Dustin, and welcome back to some King Koi. Welcome back to the nightly story or the daily story, whatever story it is for you. Welcome back. I hope you saw the previous episode, and if you didn't, go watch right now. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Sword of Leeds have nightly diplomatic relations with Japan at present, but that was only for around the last decade. Although there may have been exchanges between both countries, surely that brought about some level of tension between their people, too. As a result, very few residents traveled back and forth, and only a single embassy in Tokyo had been erected as a foreign assembly hall. <laughs> Erection. Additionally, there was a severe lack of consulate or otherwise, like a standard office building in one of the bigger cities like Osaka or Nagoya. Nice, very nice. However, a single freaking dog. However, a single consulate had been built several years ago here in Hamachi. Well, I bet it was a villain, villain, a villa explicitly for a service family to live in. With that said, the Vienna Convention of something like that was seemingly in effect, so it wasn't a place Japanese residents could enter at a moment's order. Notice. But you could obviously get in if invited by a princess. Uh. Interesting. She came willingly. ちょっと久しぶりでしたかっただけよ。ねえ、なのいらっしゃい。あら、そういえば結構久しぶりね。春夏はよく来たけど最近は少なかったかな。もっと来てくれればいいのに、私みたいな庶民には出かすぎて落
こんな席なんだからそんなにかしこまらなくて結構いつもみたいにシルビーと呼んで<笑>そうかいじゃあ改めて久しぶりだねシルビーええおおいいろえ立場をわきまえてくださいいいじゃないかエル今は公務外なんだまったくもうシャラペレチーズエルもこのくらい気を緩めていいのにできませんこっちな<笑>相変わらずだな、no. リドンシルビーは堅苦しいのが嫌いなんだからもっと器用に接するのも大事だぞ他はともかく僕たちの仲なんだからねえまったくあまり慣れ慣れしいのは困りますいくらイロエとシルビー様のご関係とはいえうわーん親しそうねおーおーおおお This intimate conversation hit even harder in his high quality introduction, and my heart was being chopped into tiny pieces. Oh no, don't bust out here, Jesus. Enough about his face and stuff. お話は伺っていたので、事前に写真で確認させていただきました。あら、なめですなね。良いことだわ。Even Ernjo Saki's wood w o o d w o l l within 10 seconds of meeting her? それで。Well, yeah, why is that surprising? She, cre she cle clearly, clearly discriminates commoners. He came to me. Calm down. I mean, it wasn't like he was trying to pick a fight or anything. Give him a clearly spoken greeting and it'll all be over. No need to antagonize him. As long as I let this play out smoothly. Huh? Yes? Huh? He looked kind of mad. I. Do not recall. <laughs> After subjecting me to an unconcealed glare, he walked away. Oh, so he's a douche douche. Um, okay. Time out. What's going on? Does he hate me from the get go? Ichimatsu breathes, breathes, and this food's just. I've never met the guy before. Despite her confusion, she didn't seem interested in helping me resolve the matter. Dang it. I guess I was flying solo for this one. <laughs> Sylvia, Sylvia not see what he just did? Being weird? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And so the lunch we were promised began. All of the ladies were overjoyed. So, the Ichimatsu was the one who was able to get the money. I was able to get The food in my mouth suddenly lost all flavor. Nana, <laughs> Help me, Sylvie. Help me. Oh my God. No way she's that goofy or that clueless. Help me. Mm -hmm. You barely realize that. Okay. Huh? 
This was a sudden shift. He seemed to have maintained a degree of composure, but if he was self-aware and still picking a fight, that was a problem in its own right. Huh. That's up. That didn't mean I'd done anything to... Hmm. Hang on a second. Was? Hmm. Something about the way he phrased that now? Just now? Bugged me. Sylvie seemed to think of him like a big brother, so I understood why he'd refer to her that way. But said Sylvie was a sister to him when she was younger? He made it sound like he didn't think of her that way now. I thought the same thing. Was she more like a fiance or something now? That sudden realization made my heart grow cold. Huh? At least some barged in with an expression that looked extraordinarily menacing. So... Didn't sound like the others had heard. But I most certainly had. Uh, son, what is he talking about? Uh, son grimaced and scowled at her brother. He must not have wanted that information to get out. Uh, hmm? Uh, you <laughs> came another furious woman and the pretty boy was sent flying. Huh? Huh? What's going on? Why would I be Sylvie's fiance, not this hottie with a body? Wow, this is even better than what I expected. Sorry, could you explain everything to me from the beginning? None of this made any sense. Oh. <clears throat> Dang. Nah, Mina is... Savage, dude. Okay. Uh, okay. We only had plans for lunch, so everyone dispersed a couple hours later. Only I stuck behind. Oh, that's not true. He was knocked out, Cohen. <laughs> so you actually can chop a man in the back of the neck and knock him out in real life. Uh, what's happening? This was a dangerous subject to bring up all of a sudden, for my blood pressure mainly. Firstly, is the dude you knocked out called really Elisan's brother? But. Earlier, so she said, but huh? Then, Elba, <laughs> But why? There must have been some bigger meaning behind it as they were complaining over a single word. Word, not world. Now that you mention it, you two have the same color of hair. I saved it. Elisan, Hiroe-san, and Sylvie all had blonde hair, while Mina-chan was silver-haired. If I split them up by lineage, then it would be crystal, crystal, crystal clear. Oh my god, I'm out of here. <laughs> right. I'm sure it wouldn't make sense to me even if I did hear the specifics of their situation. So Sylvie was born into Elisan's family, then put up for adoption. Eh? 
What? Then you weren't a princess from birth? <laughs> uh, here I thought I'd forgotten a massive piece of information, but you weren't a princess then. So we certainly looked like a princess when we were little, and I probably would have been more careful around her if she were one. I do not remember that at all. Huh? When? やっぱり覚えてなかった。10年前、私が日本に来たのはこの養子縁組の手続きが落ち着くまで私を一度国から遠ざけようとしてのことだった。Oh, that's crazy. Wow. First I'd heard of it. Same. Those two were scaling. Her being kept at a distance surely meant there was some deep, dark meaning behind it, right? <laughs> surely. Only Sylvie had a carefree smile, but the other two looked kind of sad. I shared the feeling, and that's how we met. It was lucky you were put up for adoption then, huh, Sylvie? Oh. Hey, careful, careful. My comments seem to have irritated Mina-chan and Nelly-san, but Sylvie seemed pleased and smiled sweetly. たくさんのお友達ができたんだもの。それに何よりあのキャンプのおかげで自分のことが好きになれたわ。Maybe she was suffering through Maybe she was suffering throughout the adoption process and that when Ado Ada when Odo said that they were probably like, "Hey, oh, don't talk about our girl like that." Makes sense. That would be my guess at least. Uh Oh yeah. Do you hate it? Your hair? Hi. Why? What's so bad about golden hair? Uh oh. But don't cry. Back then, so we hated the color of her hair. For new adopted family all had silver hair, then she would stick out like a sore thumb. Did that more or less cover it? That would make sense. And so... Sylvie brushed her hair up into the air. Her silky smooth hair fluttered apart with its sun-like radiance. Her, huh? Rhea and I had complimented her blonde locks all the time when we were kids, so I could tell Sylvie was referring to one of us over the course of the conversation, but that clearly wasn't me. Yeah, I probably said it more than I should have. I said as much to make her stop crying, but... Nah, I probably was hitting on her in my own childlike way. She was awfully adorable. それでね、国に帰ってイロエとエルにだけは行っちゃったの。あっちで好きな子ができちゃったって。突然左手薬指に指輪など仕始めるから何事かと。Oops. Oh, I see how that happened. That golden ring, huh? あれは怒られたわね。特にイロエには当然です。あまり意味が分かってなかったにしろ。これから王室に席を移そうという時に婚約指輪ですから。色へは激怒しておりましたわね。可愛い妹を清掃の国などさせるものか。シスアケには渡さないと。危うく石竹とシスアケでナイフになりかけたわ。それティレージがマップたちにな
日本での生活を調査したところ一なる少年がお姉さまと親しかったと分かり往路市松の名をイロエが危険視したのはその時からでしょうね、mm. Sortilage has had a mark on my name since that far back. <laughs> it was surreal how carefree we'd been about the whole thing, especially since I'd all but forgotten about it, and so we could only recall the name Ichi. Still, I can't believe that ring turned into such a big deal. Baba, she was like five. Are they for real? <laughs> Incidentally, Soma kun's, or rather, Ria's ring was currently hanging around my neck in pendant form as we spoke. Oh, yeah, should probably ask her about that. What sort of promise was it? it had been mentioned before that there was some promise surrounding this ring. Now it was all coming together. Sobi intended to wear it when she and Soma kun got married, while Ria was encouraging Sobi to use it at our wedding instead. I wanted to tell her the truth, but I needed Ria's permission before I could. Yeah, I was generally satisfied. If I had to pick anything to bring up, though, you know, didn't he fly off the handle a little too fast? h i r o s a n stood up. しかし、これも飛行がかつて我が国の大級王女であり、当時は自分の妹でもあったシルビーの門脇した為だと思っていた期待。え、we <笑> Not really. That ring was just part of a camp event. It was an accessory made from piano scraps. Clearly, not something worth all this fuss. I agree. Or so I thought. Hmm. Uh, uh? He was right. That was something else I didn't know. If I recalled at the time, Sylvie. So Cut her hair just as she was about to leave. Ah. His comment must have jogged Sylvie's memory as she smiled wryly and touched her hair. Long hair looked wonderful on her, and its golden radiance and ample volume made it stand out all the more. Hair long enough that it would be a devastating loss if it were ever cut. What must have happened for her to chop so much of it off? Hiro san and I, as well as El san and Mina chan, simultaneously turned towards Sylvie. Why had she cut her hair? It appeared to be the one thing that even e l i s a n and Minachan, her older and younger sisters, hadn't heard. Sylvie's answer <laughs> was to hold her index finger up in front of her nose. Wow. Well, thanks for the, the <laughs> edging. Did they even have cliche dramas like that a decade ago? It's not like we'd cleared up the misunderstanding. Good, good. Ah, <sighs> that was a difficult day. I don't feel depressed anymore, that's for sure. You took it? Well, yeah, because you. Never mind. I couldn't say it in front of her. Of all the information I learned today, this was naturally what made me happiest. The i r o e s a n s e i s closest childhood friend, the tall, handsome blonde guy more trustworthy than anyone, older biological brother. Oh, great. He may not have currently been part of the same family in name, but you could safely say it put him in the most reassuring category possible. That was one rival down. <laughs> Don't be that way. Man's heart was a complicated thing. You should totally tell her sometime. It would be fun to tell her about that. <laughs> hmm? For some reason, she was gazing straight at me. I wasn't sure why, but it made me blush. I turned away out of shyness. 
お昼のお寿司をあまり食べていないわよね。Yeah, I didn't. Things had gone so intense with Iroha san that I couldn't really taste the food. 夕飯もここで食べていかないできるわよね、エル。うん。ですが、マグロはもうありませんよ。Dang, Reina tear that tuna up. そうなの困ったわね。ああ、ちょうどよろしいですわ。エロいな。適当に見繕って。フランス料理をコースでお願いできますかしらイエローちょっとてんやわんやしたけれどテストを始めますわよ。うん、I see。That was part of the deal, wasn't it? The entire reason I came here today was to see how well my etiquette was compared to Iroe さん。<笑>いいわね。私、コース料理って待たされるのが苦手だけど、オードとならお話も弾むし、ちょうどいいわ。And with that, my return home was postponed a bit longer. I ended up in their care until nightfall. Yeah, how nice. I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> I was nervous for him. So, the Tirage is a lot of people in Spanish. Yeah, I could tell with the name Gawayero. Like, yeah, of course. Genko Iko. I like the Knito no Kanke or Balas Yoko Kizui Teori. Bunka Mata, Konzen to Steori Maswa. お料理はやはりフランスの影響が色濃いフランス、中国、トルコ料理はそれぞれ個性的ですものね幸いというかフランス料理は今日世界的に見ても極めて高い評価を受けておりますマナーを覚えるのであればまずはフレンチからですわあっ、が、ああ、can't get a good hold on it God, it screeched! The plate screeched when the knife scraped against it. Ah,、uh, I can't pick up this lettuce with a fork. <laughs> I like his tie in his suit. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Salada wa kono yo ni oritatan de atsumi o motase ruto fork ga sasaru yo ni narimas. Oh, I get it. Like this. Is this right? Mina? Can I saw the one? I let Tsuiki no Oshieta Koto des no ni. Mama. All of a Nihon's in the car. Your body will have no hoga. Sky, yes, I am, eh? To be honest, yes. Forks are so. Why forks? Oh, Tsuite could say. Oh, has him at the way, eh? Yes. Mina chan, who had acted as my teacher until today, appeared zealous. I felt like I was being treated like a little kid, but I had to make it work somehow. I hope he doesn't try to chopstick it. Yeah. Eating soup was easy enough as. Was one thing I didn't need full instruction for. A cream colored soup was eventually placed before me, and when I scooped at the broth with my spoon. You don't drink, but eat soup, right? <laughs> Slippery was a non starter. So we happily munched on that bread that had been brought out for her. Yeah, yeah. This was the right time for bread to be served. Let me think. It's impolite to dip it in the soup and eat it. Put butter on it. I like dipping it in the soup. It's, it's nice. It tastes really good. Whoops. Right, right. First, cut the bread into bite sized pieces. Then came the butter. Next came the main course, which consisted of fish and meat dishes. Oh, wow, it's 8 o'clock and I'm hungry now. This part was a piece of cake. Simply cut the dish into bite sized pieces, then bought. Then bought. Then bring them to your mouth. <laughs> and a strict one at that. <laughs> So he giggled. Kaminar Samamo, Zuibunto, Ichimatsu, Donoto, Astashi, Goyos, then. 
It happened in between the fish and meat courses, so there was no time for idle chatter. Mm? She's been taking good care of me, after all. Common sense would suggest having a princess wake you up early every morning, all while wearing a maid's outfit was impossible. Luckily, that same maid seemed to be free of any hardships. Hmm, I'm not sure how to answer that. Oh, that happened to some extent. There are a few girls who talk to her though. She's getting along with Akane-chan, who's the same age as her. Wouldn't you say she's fine? Sound like she'd been worried and she looked positively relieved by her response. <laughs> oh yeah, Hina-chan. You don't interact with Reina at all. Oh yeah, that is true. I just thought of that. Pretty much just a first and second year in the same dorm, then. If a busybody like Reina wasn't sticking her nose in Mina Chan's business, it must mean she wasn't all alone. <laughs> That's great. My boss? Hmm. That was a relatively difficult question to answer. Wait, why am I... Why, why are these options? Someone help, explain, please. If you're watching and you know, please tell me right now. Please, I don't understand. Uh, a little scary, maybe? Nah, it's not so much majesty. You just get mad at the drop of a hat. No, you get angry a little too easily. あ、確かに皆は誰にでもはっきりと言うタイプだから怖がっちゃう人もいるかしら。自重たちの間では神なる様のお相手をするのは若い者だと精神的に厳しいので、ある程度年を重ねた者をつけるようしていると聞きます。
どうされた色へすごい似たっとしていますがいやうん何だろうこれまで感じたことのない感覚に襲われた<笑> That single word allowed him to experience a newfound appreciation for his sister. That's amazing. Try it on me next, t e l e s a n No, please don't. Guess you got me there. It would be nothing short of roleplay of t e l e s a n who practically radiated the aura of an older woman. Call me Onichan. No, no, please now. Second thought. I like Minachan to say it. Minachan. The lady in question refused to play along. <laughs> If you do, I'd obey any order you give me from now on. Scary. Oh no. <laughs> Where did that come from, Zoe? Oh no, no, no.、Oh. God. I'm totally devoid of my emotion when it comes to how you called me Onitan just now, but your kindness makes my heart feel sunny. It's that sort of look. We like it if it were me, Nichan. Thank you for not giving in, Mina. The Royal Family's nitpicking extends this far? Mechanism? <laughs> Get married to Sylvie. To be perfectly blunt, that actually was my current goal, so it was pretty hard to laugh. <laughs> Please don't steer the conversation in weird directions. Sylvie's going to laugh at me. Or so I assumed, but as I forced a smile and turned towards Sylvie. Huh? Oh. Huh? Sylvie's face had turned beet red and she quickly looked away. What the? So we acted flustered for whatever reason and tried to change the subject. Yeah, for whatever reason. And then. Accidentally hit the table with her elbow. A knife plopped to the floor. So we forced a smile as if she were silently admitting to her mistake, her mistake and her face returned to its usual color. With a quick flit of her hand, Chamberlain properly collected a fallen knife and another tendon brought out a new one. Whoa. That was amazing.、Huh? Oh, but that's right. This is the way it's done. You're not supposed to pick up anything you dropped yourself, are you?、ね、We returned to the subject of etiquette. I had seen this on TV before, but it was impolite to pick up dropped items during multi course meals in particular. This may be the piece of etiquette that disagrees with me the most. From a common sensibility, you'd pick up something you dropped on your own. <laughs> Putting etiquette and one at a side, it's more so out of reflex. Having someone else pick up what you dropped would just make me feel arrogant, for sure. I don't know why I said that. I see what you mean. I guess it was easier to accept if you perceived it that way. That is educational. Yeah. At some point or another, I'd gotten used to carrying on a regular conversation with Idoi san. I'd still feel bad if I were to drop something, though. Something that's drilled into us as commoners. Um, So we raised her hand and servants immediately came out with pitches. No, speaking as a commoner, I'd still feel bad. Commoners want water, they go get it from the sink themselves. Well, 
それこそ例のない行為ですからね。I guess we really are just from two different worlds. <笑>そう考えると、オーロとこんなに仲良くなれた偶然にもっと感謝したくなるわ。Our conversation had veered in a less than pleasant direction, but nobody seemed different, diffident, or hesitant by it. We were having a fun meal together. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I was doing a great job. Then, <laughs> Hiro san held out his glass too. That was when I realized. So, Yeba, Iro e mo mizunano? Hi. Wine is that a docasra? Japanese wine ga ikutska adasa ya? Shikashi. Silby sama, Kono seki de alcohol to you know a chutta. Why? Everyone here but Iro san was a student after all. It'd be pretty dicey if you were the only one to drink. Wow, my voice almost cracked. But so we said. <laughs> so we pushed the subject forward of our own accord. Hiroshi-san smiled wryly and didn't argue the point further. However, he didn't appear to dislike alcohol. We've got wineries in Japan too. Yeah, Japanese rice wine boom. I think I've heard of something to that tune before. I heard that Japanese wine, beer, and whiskey were popular across the globe. Japanese wine も欧州で評判になっています。ただ味は良いのですが、値段が非常に張るとかでブームというほどではありませんが。Japan does have pricey land costs to deal with. えっと、山梨という銘柄のワインが良いと聞きました。Yamanashi isn't really a brand, it's just the name of the place it's made. I used to hear jokes like that back when I was a 30 in elementary school. The wine came out. You seem to like it. <laughs> no surprise that someone would step in to stop you, Sylvie. Have you never drunk before, even once? Wow. It, their life doesn't sound very fun at all. Hmm. Just then, preparations must have been complete as the plates of our fish course were taken away. The main course, our meat dish, came out. Yeah. <laughs> Once this was over, that would only lead to dessert. The dessert options were endless, and it would be impossible to guess which would be served in advance. Additionally, there were no real restrictions to speak of in terms of proper dessert etiquette. As far as my etiquette test as a whole was concerned, this meat dish was my final hurdle. I took my knife and fork. Fors. The meat we were served, I believe it was the sheep or something, was fairly sizable yet soft like gelatin. Could be easily cut with a quick slice of your knife. After it was cut into bite sized piece, I grabbed it with my fork. Turning one's fork in an inward fashion was essential. I brought it to my mouth. Minachan nodded her head, seemingly in approval. I was right. Gotta keep this up. When I was done eating, I collected my knife and fork and placed them at the right side of my plate. <laughs> Thanks for that. Alright. I was too nervous to enjoy this rare, delicious meal. But now I could help myself the dessert, I cleared the game. Not at all. I helped myself to the freshly poured glass of water to settle my nerves. So, eh? Was そうね。お食の<笑><笑> Fiance? 
落ち着いてください。Water went down my windpipe. I had to calm down. I reached in Iroya san's direction as he rubbed my back and grabbed his glass. Dark. What? The water I drank was bittersweet and astringent. Why would water taste this way? I emptied the glass in my hand and in a single gulp it was mine. The purple droplets remained inside. What was this? What was this? Dud. Oxygen flushed back into the lungs that had gone deprived in my coughing fit. What felt like burning steam rose from whatever I had swallowed in the same moment and, my, and made my lungs felt like they were on fire. I felt so lightheaded?、Uh. <laughs> I could hear Sylvia and other sounds' voices <laughs> fading out further and further into the distance. Ah. Oh no. Yo, this game plays so much. With that fiance crap. Oh no. So, does she or does she not? It's driving me crazy, too. Oh? I don't recognize that ceiling. Wait, ceiling? I guess not. What is that? Oh, those Arabian like roofs attached to beds, right? What's with this bed? s o l t i d i s i o n of Ryoji Kanga, Kakumani Sayo stayed a bit of a Zendu Koredeskara. Wow. I feel like I should apologize. Yeah, go k i b u n a I'm okay, f a little thirsty. Hi, Omitsu. Took the drink and sobered myself up. Hmm. How long was I asleep? Yoru, Stiji Mani Konto Ste, Sonoma and Mutte Shimai. Ima, Asa Hachi Sugi. I was asleep for 14 hours. I really am a lightweight. I never would have thought I'd mix up the drinks, then wind up falling up flat on my back for a single glass of wine. Beyond careless, even in my opinion. But it was just a bad set of circumstances. I was choking at that. And if you were to ask why I choked. Right. Sorry, sorry. What? <laughs> One glass of wine. That's what. I'm sorry, this turned into such a huge ordeal. <laughs> Were you also worried about me, Mina chan? <laughs> That was something to be grateful for. Anyway, enough about me. About what you said yesterday. Oh, <laughs> Oh, tell us, tell us first. Sure. She had a lunch appointment with this r y o z o j i person. I'd heard as much yesterday, so it wasn't as surprising. But. Oh, how thoughtful of you, thanks. So we left before I had a chance to squeeze in any more questions. The handsome blonde guy who'd been watching this play out from the sidelines walked over in her place. Oh, hi, Oga Zaymas, Ichimatsu Dono. Oka Gen Ikaga Deska. Sakuya wa Moshiwake Nai. Jibunga Kiyo Nuite. Die. Die, die. You can't even, like, apologize for that. He's an idiot. Odo. Hime no Daiji na Goyu Jin ni Pukumoru nado. Watashi to shita koto ga. You know, his son really was a good guy. Um, Mina chan? Hi. About this. Ryuzoji san? Is Sylvie's fiance? They had mentioned as much before. The way this person was introduced was far more troublesome than Iroe san, who was only a childhood friend. Inachan shrugged her shoulders, seemingly exasperated. What? Huh? What 
てよねあちらが日本のマスコミ向けにそう紹介したでしょ何日か前にニュースになっていたはずですわ Yeah, that rings a bell. I was so preoccupied with loading it always on a time that I hadn't paid much attention to it. Don't tell me that was when they were engaged. It'll end up a hot topic of discussion? So, 非常に安価で抜群の広告になりますわ広告会社の龍造寺には願ってもない効果ですし我々としてもソルティレージュが日本で知名度を保つことになりますあ、oh, I'm I'm 公式に否定するのは3日くらい日を置いてでしょうね That's kind of an underhanded tactic, huh? サル芝居と言われれば否定はできませんわね。Very cheap. ただこちらも現在、龍造寺がマネージメントするとあるスタート交渉を行っている最中。あまり邪険にはできかねるのですわ。スターええ、なんでも。あ,あ、これはあなたには言わないよう、お姉さまに注意されてましたわね。マリア・ビショップ。サプライズにするからと。まあ、とにかく、現在、婚約を否定しない間柄。つまり、婚約者ではありますが、お姉さまに結婚の意思はございませんわ。Yeah, I see. Oh. <笑>ほっとしまして。No. Uh, nah. <笑> Just flat out the night. Uh, nah. 隠さずとも結構ですわ。見ていればわかりますよ。Oh, she knows she knows. あなたがお姉さまに結婚していることは。She 100% knew. Like, there's no way she trained this dude. Etiquette stuff, like just for being her homie, like ain't no way, ain't no way.、Uh, or maybe there is a way, I don't know. It was plain as day the rain night, too. I know it would be impossible to hide it from Mina chan, who was even more involved in our situation, but still. Haha. <laughs> I wish she wouldn't bring it up so much. <laughs> Mina chan went off on the mini bragging spree over her sister. Mina chan, you really do love Sylvia a lot.、Oh. The only reason Mina chan nagged at me so much was because I was a close male friend of Sylvia's and desperately needed some etiquette training. I think that's roughly the reason for it, anyway. She was a pretty big sister lover herself. Yeah, <laughs> number of people that seem to be attracted to Sobi unconditionally. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Your tone dropped just a touch. Min chan was probably thinking about Sylvie's adoption. I couldn't ask about this in front of Sylvie, but something about it weighed heavily on my mind. She was the ninth princess, so why would they want to adopt another when they already had eight other children? We thought it through logically. She's a hostage, isn't she? <laughs> What? Min chan nodded rather indifferently. <laughs> シスアケとイスタケが争い合っているとかではありませんわでもシスアケとイスタケはソルティレージュで最も力のある家同士もし関係が悪くなれば国全体にとって足かせとなりますそうならないための布石といったところですわ布石に使われる人生がどんなものかは私には想像もつきませんけどふん<笑> Definitely. Although she did seem to lead the carefree life she'd expected from a princess, I was sure it came with woes neither of us could imagine. Chance! 
Oh, we know our place. <laughs> Fortunately enough, and I Amina Chan, her sister, I was apparently out of the question at Sylvie's partner. Dang it. Minachan was right, and there was no point in arguing that fact. I had to hurry up and become a bureaucrat. さまでしたっけ。あの方でも良いやもしれませんわね。はあ。なかなかお仕事のできる方のようですし、生まれも悪くないとか。スペックは足りていますわ。ああ。もちろん本人の人格を見ぬうちは判断できませんが、選択肢